Hey couples, we're continuing in this series now, number 11 of 12 Habits That Lead to Divorce and How to Avoid Them by David Willis. Well, this is a hard one because this one hits home and it's a, it's a challenging one in the day and age that we're in. To be able to have pornography, graphic, romantic novels, all those fantasies, those things certainly get in the way of a good marriage as well as an intimate marriage. But Proverbs 25 says this, Like a city whose walls are broken down is one who lacks self-control. All these things, pornography, uh, these romantic novels, these different ways our fantasies are enticed by the enemy, are all choices that we make. They're choices. They're not something that, oh my goodness, how did that happen? We, we press the button, we follow a lead, we go from one thing to another, all of a sudden, how did I get here? Well, how did you get there? By making the first decision to uh, Google something or to look a little longer than you should or, or open a book and say, oh, what's the big deal? Or watch a movie. Even as a couple, to watch pornographic movies is not edifying to the Lord. It takes away the intimacy that God has intended it within the context of the protection of the covenant relationship that you have. So some couples feel like, oh, what's the big deal? We're watching it together. No, we're, we're actually having sex with the people on the screen there or in that book or in that writing or whatever it may be. So I need to let you know, I mean, if you've had a place where you are uh, looking at things that you shouldn't, uh, if, you're, if you're enticed by that, if you're, if you're controlled by that, which happens many, many times, we just can't stop looking, uh, then we have to, we have to stop. And sometimes that means a complete change of habits. It means not picking up your phone or not looking at this or throwing books away. Uh, many, many years ago, before I was even married, somebody came into my room. I was living with my folks, and he said, those books are of the enemy. You need to get rid of them. I picked them up. We took them out to the garbage can, and we burned them. Not that my parents weren't happy about that, but I knew how to clean things out. So clean out anything on your computer, on your screen, anything that is maybe the tipping point for you to go back into looking at pornography, looking at and reading uh, suggestive books, novels, whatever it may be, and then stop and just stop and say, God, teach me. When I come to that need to look at these things, to investigate these things, show me, renew my mind so I don't follow them anymore. And that will be an incredible place of strength instead of a place of weakness in your marriage. God bless.